and welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a massage for shin splints and I'm going to be working on the lovely Savannah. Let's go ahead and get started. If you don't have time to watch this video right now, go ahead and save to your watch later and just watch whenever you get a chance. So sometimes people suffering with shin splints are in quite a bit of pain. So I like to just do something a little more soothing. I'm going to start with the feet. Just squeezing. I first make contact, just moving extra slow. And I'm going to go ahead and do a few more compressions down the plantar surface of the foot. And then kind of go in with some oil. I just want these tendons in between the toes to really relax. Sometimes they can get a little seized up when someone has shin splints or a lot of tightness in that tibialis. It's also a really grounding way to begin the massage, just helping your client to feel more grounded in their own body in the work. It's really good to stimulate the top part of the foot, but you do need to be careful. There are a lot of nerves, so just a broad stroke like this is a pretty safe way to work. And hopefully this is helping the tibialis to just calm down a little bit. And I'm working on the underside of the foot just because it feels good. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time here. Just squeezing until my finger pad separates. Just dragging my finger pads across the whole underside of the foot. And just to take a little bit of pressure off of the tibialis, I'm going to just bring these toes in a little bit and continue to work on the front side of the foot. Working on the arch at the same time. And just offering a soothing touch to these to these nerves, helping the nervous system to calm down. And I'm going to start working in between the toes, in between these metatarsals, just finding some really good spots. So. If you're a little uneasy about working on the top side of the foot because of the whole there being a lot of nerves, just focus on in between the metatarsals, in between each toe, and you can't go wrong. I'm just encouraging these tendons and this connective tissue to stretch and soften. I 
and you know everybody has different bodies different feet some um feet are easier to work on it's kind of easier to find that space where your thumb just fits in between each metatarsal but sometimes it's more of a struggle just depends And all of this is indirectly just helping the front side of the leg to relax, hopefully. That's the goal. And I'm just going to do one more pass in between each metatarsal. Feeling this connective tissue melt, soften. These tendons are starting to relax and grip less. Just nice and slow here. At the end of the day, you are going to stay on that connective tissue if you're in between the metatarsals but if you land on a nerve briefly like don't worry like your client's gonna be fine it's just gonna feel a little uncomfortable for a second and if you feel a lot of tension in one area there's nothing wrong with just pausing and holding and squeezing a little more firmly until that area melts a little bit more. Yeah, this last little spot right here. Focusing on these nerves now, just helping everything to really calm down. And I'm going to go ahead and start to warm up this tibialis. So I'm just going to, right now, with the toes down, this muscle is very taut and long, so I'm going to go ahead and shorten it, especially on someone who is in pain. So I'm just going to shorten that muscle and lengthen as I do compress it, compressions. But I'm not doing, not offering a whole lot of pressure, just warming everything up. Shorten, land on the next spot, and then lengthen. Kind of help that muscle to really relax and let go. And I'm going to go ahead and leave that into, leave that in a shortened state and I'm just going to do some compressions with my thumb. Just kind of gauging how that muscle is responding before I offer any more pressure. I love doing these compressive holds along this muscle. This feels very appropriate. Somebody's struggling with, with shin splints. Just that sustained pressure feels really good helping that muscle let go. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit more oil. But first I think I'm gonna just work on these tendons around the knee a little bit. kind of getting these different areas to agree to relax. And I'm going to grab a little more oil and see what we can do in this tibialis. So the tibialis runs parallel to the tibia bone, and so just running your tool that you're using, right now I'm using the heel of my hand just all the way down, is a great way to lengthen and flush out that muscle. You can use a soft fist that feels more comfortable. You can start to create a little bit more tension in that muscle just so that you're able to go a little bit deeper if the muscle is letting you in. And just reminding myself to not go too deep. Savannah doesn't like too much pressure. And I'm going to start to do some more detailed work with my thumb here. And I am just working this muscle from different directions. And I, it's so easy to stack your thumbs here that I say, why not? Helping that thumb with this deeper work. Deeper, not too deep. If your client is, if this is too much, you can always just bring those toes in a little bit and shorten that muscle. You can even keep your hand there if you need to. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and start doing just working this muscle fiber from different directions, doing some compressive circles. So when my focus is very specific, like on shin splints, the pri priority might not be to have a flawlessly smooth experience um, as far as flow, but to just offer the most effective techniques, trying to maintain a flow that feels good, but maybe isn't as flawless. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up. 
to some long strokes, lighter strokes, along that tibialis and over the knee. Wanting those tendons to feel included. And that is all for today. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed today's video, you should check out our Patreon page where you'll find some really great exclusive content. I look forward to seeing you there. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.